This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2041, Five Self-Reflection Questions to Make Life Better by Ellen Bergen of ifitbringsyoujoy.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Welcome back to Optimal Living Daily, or the OLD podcast, where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from, sometimes books, that covers personal development or self-help, minimalism, productivity, and more. And with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Five Self-Reflection Questions to Make Life Better by Ellen Bergen of ifitbringsyoujoy.com. Any time of the year is a great time to press the pause button and reflect on where you've been, where you are, and where you wanna go. With the arrival of the year 2020, a new year and a new decade, There's no time like now to be fully mindful of changes you want to make to ensure you attract joy into your journey. It's a perfect opportunity to start fresh and become an even better version of who you were last year. The power of self-reflection is that it can keep you focused on self-improvement that'll bring you forward movement in your life, movement that will make life a little better for yourself and others and ensure you are the best version of yourself. Go into the new year with excitement to enjoy the journey. Not everything life brings will be sunshine and roses. Focus on the good nuggets that come out of not so good circumstances and let go of the rest that doesn't serve you well. Five self-reflection questions. Here are helpful questions that you can reflect on now and on a regular basis throughout the year. Get clear on what you want and what is possible. Then you can jump on opportunities that the universe will surely bring your way. Number one, what knowledge and skills could you develop? When developing skills, people most often think about careers and areas of expertise. Developing self-improvement, knowledge, and skills is also important and satisfying. What would you like to learn more about so you can improve yourself? Consider self-awareness, meditation, communication, intuition, oracle card reading, the law of attraction, reducing negative self-talk, building self-confidence, and the list goes on and on. A little investment in yourself can have lifelong benefits. In my life, I've noticed that self-development activities have an accumulative effect and the value of an investment increases with time. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch webinars, get a life coach or attend conferences. Make learning fun. If you have fun with it, you'll be more likely to apply and integrate it into your life. I am blessed to meet with a small group of like-minded friends for a monthly discussion group. We have fun while sharing ideas, thoughts, education, resources, etc. Number two, what new strategies can you integrate into your social relationships? Attitudes are contagious, so choose your friends wisely. Do you wanna grow your friendship pool? What hobbies or community classes can you take where you'll naturally meet people with similar interests? Activities that facilitate conversation are even better for meeting people. Do you need to move away from some friendships that are making you be less than your best? When a friendship reaches its end, it's simply time for another new beginning. Also, think about what you want in friendships and decide if you would meet that standard. Do you need to work on your listening skills, develop empathy, learn to trust? Quote, many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends will leave footprints in your heart. Eleanor Roosevelt. Number three, what lessons can you learn from last year to make life better going forward? Life is a continuous learning experience. Some life lessons can only be learned by facing certain situations. We can learn from both our own experiences and from those of people around us. Live and learn. It's up to you to choose to get motivated to make changes to make life better. Make last year's experiences, good and bad, work for you in the new year. What did you learn that you can now use in the present and going forward? Think about life areas such as health, spiritual, career, social, personal, friendships, fun, etc. This reminds me of the old saying that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Number four, what is an intention you can set to empower yourself? Intention statements can help you live purposefully. It's not about what you should do or what you need to do, and it is all about what you choose to do. I really like the intention statement format I learned in the Fearless Living Institute's life coaching program, of which I'm a student. The format is, I'm willing to practice, dot, dot, dot. Being willing to practice 
takes the focus away from the end result and puts the focus on your process. You're not dependent on someone else doing something to be successful. It empowers you because you are making choices and not waiting for someone to do something to make you happy. For example, I'm willing to practice being a good friend. You can then add goals to support that intention statement, such as, I will listen more closely to my friends. I'll plan one outing per month with various friends. I'll journal three gratitudes each evening about people in my life. Note that to be successful, my friends don't have to do anything in particular. Success is in my control. And number five, what are your dreams that you want to make a reality? In order to create the life of your dreams, you need to know what you want. What do you want your future to look like? What things make your heart go pitter-patter? Do you want that house with a white picket fence or do you want to travel the world? Get in touch with yourself, identify your dreams, and focus on attracting those desires into your life. Understanding the law of attraction and how energy flows where attention goes will make what seems like magic happen in your life. A vision board can be the first step in purposely bringing the things you want into your life because it makes you think about and create an intention for what you want. If you can dream it, you can live it. Catalyst for a joy-filled life. Your future self thanks you for taking time to reflect upon and answer these questions honestly and then put your responses into action so you can gain forward growth for a better, more joy-filled 2020. I just love that number. Use the self-reflection questions as a catalyst to make 2020 your best year yet. Don't wait. Take a baby step and get started today. Reflect, set your intention, and then envision a light shining on the path to your happiness and dreams. I leave you with a saying I learned in my fearless living studies that really helps keep on keeping on. Do what you can, when you can, the best you can. You just listened to the post titled Five Self-Reflection Questions to Make Life Better by Ellen Bergen of ifitbringsyoujoy.com. I'll have some comments, but first, wouldn't it be great if there was a pocket-sized guy that helped you sleep or focus or act or be better? There is. And if you have 10 minutes, Headspace can change your life. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy-to-use app. I talk about it on the show a lot. Meditation is a practice worth trying and having an app to guide you along can really make the difference of sticking to it. That's how it is for me. Headspace keeps me going. Headspace's approach to mindfulness can reduce stress, improve sleep, boost focus, and increase your overall sense of well-being. I'm not just saying that. One of my favorite things about Headspace in particular is that it's one of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. You deserve to feel happier, and Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash old, that's headspace.com slash old for a free one month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash old today. And thank you to Ellen. She wrote this one right before the pandemic began, But as she said, any time of the year is a great time to press the pause button to reflect. And these are some great questions you can start with. If you forgot them, you can find this post linked in this episode's description and at oldpodcast.com. Speaking of oldpodcast.com, one thing I mentioned in last week's newsletter was that UPenn has a big collection of questionnaires that you can fill out to give you an idea of what your strengths are, your general well-being, happiness, and more. So besides these questions that Ellen shared in this article, if you wanna take a more formal kind of survey or questionnaire, you can check those out, they're free. The site is authentichappiness.org. And again, it was created by the University of Pennsylvania. There are a lot of questionnaires to choose from. Someone shared that on TikTok and ended up getting millions of views or something like that, which then caused the site to crash. So I waited to talk about it. But last time I checked, it was back up and running. So that's another option, or our Optimal Living Daily Workbook walks through a bunch of different exercises too. You might find that helpful. You can find that at oldpodcast.com slash shop. But that should do it for today. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for following or subscribing to the show. And I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.